that MDRS was the health areas affecting individual and crew abilities to adapt to a simulated iso uh, isolated environment. It's more like physical um, aspects of it. So, because to be a compatible crew and to be able to do the work and get along and meet your um, optimum, your, your best, you have to um, identify basic areas where it will affect individuals which will affect the team cohesion and the ability to get things done and work together. And then my intentions were to track any changes in the areas that were likely to cause any physical distress and set an initial baseline for further focus in those areas. And then to identify, you know, because of what, depending on what results are, what to do in the future to, in preparations to take those into consideration if there are certain things they need to cover. And I designed surveys for everybody to fill out beginning the week before um, the actual mission just to set a baseline to what the changes might be. So it's, uh, I had each member, I just designed a survey and they filled it out based on what they um, felt and what they um, perceived their own levels to be. You know, the basic elements to, for, you know, mental comfort, physical comfort, is the things that if affected are actually just going to affect you overall this year, day to day. Certain things 
that you have naturally if you're, they can get a chance to get in and you're, because you're uh, immunocompromised and it can cause a basic infection, it can get pretty bad and they spend staph infections, you know, you have that only naturally and they can get in there and cause a really bad infection. So, you know, you've got to keep your body as healthy as it can be so you're less likely to suffer from anything like that, even if there, if there is an injury, it's less likely to get really bad. So here's some pictures of the have and um, take pictures that one of my teammates took in our patch. And then I do have some pictures um, of, from the actual rover that a friend of mine sent to me. And I just thought they were kind of cool. And it does look a lot like you told me to do. Interesting. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to go back on that one. This one I thought was really cool. And it didn't 
didn't really have much to do with the like, physical activity because everybody generally had about the same amount. So, uh, I would like a good study, well designed. Uh, given the uh, relationship between anxiety and insomnia, did you consider that the increased sleep could have been a direct result of the decreased anxiety? Um, it could have. It could have been. It varied so much between people. There was quite a bit of correlation between um, anxiety level and appetite. There wasn't as much on um, the anxiety and sleep. There wasn't a whole lot. There wasn't a steady correlation throughout the things. It was more appetite and anxiety, which is what I Was the correlation positive or negative? I well, they pretty much stayed, like, when one increased, the other one would increase, and when one decreased, and it was just almost exact same amounts. And so it's really interesting, so I think the food overall is going to be a big factor in how well people get along and uh, what kind of experience they have. So they have your cookbook. We do have our cookbooks for sale back there. Yes. Any other questions? Thank you very much.